What's going on everybody? I'm Patrick from Powlax and I'm excited to share with you a brand new tool that's going to help you and your entire team get on the same page so much faster this year and it's called Lacrosse Lab. Now one of the questions that I'm asked a ton is how do I make the play diagrams on the, the green screen if you've seen some of my first the first videos I made and I always have to give them a really crappy answer which is it's play scripter which hasn't been updated in years so it works with my generation one iPad but none of my new equipment works so it doesn't work on any iPhones from the past like five years but Take that to now, recently I actually got in touch with Lacrosse Lab through a post on the Lacrosse Coach Discussion Group, found out that it wasn't the same other Lacrosse Lab that I'd heard about before, and they showed me all their capabilities, and so now I am a full-on fan, and you know I'm using Lacrosse Lab to have a pretty cool offering that's going to allow you guys to have access to my entire playbook, which also corresponds to all my videos and all of that stuff. So I'm super excited to dive right in. I'm going to show you the capabilities, what it can do, what it can do for free, what you can actually do if you become a member through um, through my site, as well as if you you know use it with your team. So, really excited for all of that. But before we get started, I also want to show you the brand new Powlax.com. So, for people who've been fans of Powlax for a while, you'll know that I usually tell you you got to go to Patreon.com/Powlax and become a member. Now you don't have to do that anymore. We're getting rid of the third party and everything is now housed on Powlax.com. So as you can see here, we're at Powlax.com and this is the 2019 Penn State offense video that many of you have watched. Now the cool part about this is that now all of these videos are organized really well. You've got offenses, set plays, two-man game, man up, defense, man down, transition O and D. Look at that. Fast break, trailer break, slow break, UNC's slow break. You've got skill development videos for the in the Palax backyard. You've got wall ball videos, uh, lacrosse trick videos, highlight videos, tons and tons of stuff on this website, but now it's all in one place. Now, the coolest part of this is that I don't have to push you to Patreon to get the playbook PDF. So as well, if you've been a fan for a while, you'll know that all of these videos that I make also have a print outable uh, PDF that you can actually follow along with. And now, if you become a member, you just go to the video that you want to watch or the, the thing that you want to print out. You scroll down a little bit, you click the PDF button, and it downloads the PDF straight to your computer just like that. It's super simple. Now, when you become a member, we've got a couple tiers I'm going to explain to you, and then we're going to get into the rest of the video. So, Silver is basically access to the all of my playbooks. It's over, I think, 300 pages now. But so you've got a monthly option, which is Silver. It's five bucks a month. And then you've got a Silver Plus membership, which is 50 bucks a year. And it basically just gives you access to all of those PDFs. Now, if you want a little more in-depth stuff with me or you want access to the Palax Digital Playbook, you can go for the gold membership, which is $25 a month. That gives you access to all those PDFs as well as a private Q&A with me. And then now you also get access to the Palax Digital Playbook, which we're going to go over in a minute. Finally, you've got the Platinum membership, which is for people who are looking for a little bit of mentorship. So basically, we're going to get on a call for an hour each month. We'll go over kind of what your plan is for your team, what your team's like, and any advice that I can give about, you know, where, where and how you should navigate your season or with whatever other lacrosse thing you would want to do. That's what the Platinum membership's for. Now, the final thing I have to mention is that if you are a director and you oversee a lot of coaches and you want all the coaches to have access to all of the Palax content, we now offer a program membership, which I can basically design any way you want. So if you're in a very like a, a specific situation with a specific number of coaches, I'll definitely give you guys discounts. But what it's set up for now is you get access to 20 coaching accounts and you pay for 15 of those accounts. So those are the Palax memberships. And I've got one more thing to talk about before we get into the lacrosse lab stuff. And it's just a shout out Pearl lacrosse and say, if you need balls, Get them from Pearl Lacrosse. Buy the Pearl X's, not the LTs, not the no bounce balls. Get the Pearl X's, the ones that are made differently than all the others, and will never grease. Greasers are fine. 
it's not okay though to have two balls that are different because the reps are going to be different for those players it makes it more difficult for the player to think about having an inconsistent stick if you've got two balls that are different that inconsistency is not going to allow the player to train as well as they usually would and if it goes into a game you're just in some hot water but so use code powlax at pearllacrosse.com when you order your balls and um, it'll kick you a 10 percent discount and i'll get a little kickback for this for the site as well the next one is elevate lacrosse they make the blue you know blow up goalie um, there's a link down in the description um, go there if you're looking for one of those goalies um, they're great people as well and having that goalie is definitely a you know, it's a fun thing to have in practice. It's it's great not to rip up your goalies, and it'll allow you to utilize those shooting drills and have the players visualize, you know, and actually see a goalie or the representation of a goalie in the net. All right. Now, let's get into Lacrosse Lab. So, when you go to Lacrosse Lab, you will be able to <clears throat> create plays for free. That's totally free. I think you might have to register, but I think you get 10 or 15 plays that you'll be able to have for free. Now, that's cool in itself, but the real cool part about Lacrosse Lab is how it allows you to track what your players have seen and to actually schedule using the plays that you have. But so what I'm going to do first is you guys saw the Penn State offense over on powlax.com but so let's say that i want to install the powlax or the penn state offense what i'm going to do the way i'm going to use it is during practices i'm going to come over to the powlax playbook i'm going to go to offenses i'm going to go to penn state and i'm going to let's say i want to build the 141 wing pairs portion of this video now i've been through this and i've, I've already built all of the stuff in this like Unless you become a member and you get access to the Powlax Digital Playbook, which is 60 bucks a year, um, you won't have this on your lacrosse lab. You'll have to build out the stuff for you, but I have it built out in this way. But So the first thing I want to teach them is the two-man game on the wings. And so we can have a pick motion, which will look like this, right? You've got your 1-4-1, one, one, and then you're going to play out your pick. He could go over the top, or he can go underneath. And then my players have a representation of what that two man looks like within the confines of our 141, and it gives them an actual representation. But now I want to see how it goes for off ball. So, off ball in the wing pairs, you know, maybe I want the top center player to, you know, cut the middle. So, in this representation of this drill, now the top guy is going to cut. And so I've got a backside exchange here too, but now I show the play. And then, you know, the way that I utilize this is I'm trying to teach coaches as well as players. So, but the way that I like to represent things within the program is I like to make sure that I show what they know, I show the new addition, and then I show it all together. So this is what they know. It goes over the top, you get backside exchange, then you're going to have a guy cut the middle. Now it goes back and you see it all at once but so within the context of building now let's say I wanted to make a small adjustment to this play what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here I'm going to oh I gotta go to my playbook to do it so give me just one second get over to Penn State off ball we'll to go top fade so let's say I want to make a, a, a change to this play I'm gonna copy the play now I got to go back to the front of my playbook. It'll come up right here. And now I will have the ability to change up what I want to say. So let's say now I want instead of the player cutting, let's say I want him to shallow cut. Top. Shallow cut. So now I can change up any of these other things that I would want within this. I hit save. And now, when I get to where he's now fading this way, I'm just kind of going to drag him, and I'm going to make him shallow cut. Now it'll bring him back, and now I'll make him shallow cut. And now, he'll be shallow cutting. So you have the play, shallow cut underneath. Now, 
he'll show you the actual representation. So the ability to copy plays you've already made and then make small adjustments to create a brand new look is one of the things that just totally, you know, makes this such a very usable program. Now, if I wanted to start from scratch, I hit the create play button. Now, uh, let's say I want to, I'll draw Rutgers. So I already have this made, but I'm just going to show you exactly how I would do it. So here's one of the things about lacrosse lab that's a little bit interesting i like to use the drill format for everything because it allows me to only have to pull one arrow i'll show you what i mean in a second but if you use the plays whether it's half field uh, so we're men's lacrosse say i hit half field there are a couple things it doesn't allow you to do because it, it's thinking that you're representing a, a specific play so you can't like throw the ball intentionally to the other team. Whereas I would want to make sure that if there's any time I could easily roll a ground ball to them or, or do things, there's workarounds. But I'll show you what I mean in a second. So Rutgers is a play out of the 2112 set. I'd write that. If I wanted to have tags in it, I could say offense. Uh, I'd say it's a beginner intermediate play. And it's going to be whole unit. This is usually more for the drill section than it is for the plays. But now when I hit continue, we're good to go. And I want to build this out of the half field. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my players. Now my offensive players are blue. The defensive players are orange. The defensive players are going to have their own ability to be changed in order to show their positions within the defense. I'll show you that in just a second. But so I'm gonna pull a player here. Two, three, four, five, six. So they are in the 21-12 set. And now if I wanna pull the defenseman, they'll be in the same thing. Now, one of the really cool aspects of this is their ability to use lines. Now, if I take a ball out, the ball is going to magically kind of jump to each player. Now, if I had selected the original play, not the drill, it would not let me pull the ball out to the orange players, to the defensive players. And I would actually have, once we get out of this and we hit done and the players are kind of cemented where they are, I would have um, two sets of movement tools. So I'd have a set of movement tools for the offense and a set of movement tools for the defense. And where that really helps is if I'm building on an iPad or an iPhone, sometimes the players are so close together that it's hard to know which player you're pulling the move tool to. But so but I like to use the drill set because it's I don't want to have to click a different button for to move lines for the offense or the defense, but that's just kind of my preference. But so once we have the play here, the way that this play works is the pass is going to go from this player to here. And then once we have the play started, you hit plus, it moves it. And now we're going to have a dodge here, clear through. He's going to fill. He's going to fill. This player is going to follow. I must have pulled out two balls over there, too. He's going to float. Now I have to do the same thing for all the defensive players. I got to make sure that they move as well, or else it's going to look off. He'd probably be staying inside a bit. This player probably would come out and then he'd show. Um, player number six is way out of position here. And now once I hit add frame, we get to the next part of our play. So I see that this looks kind of weird right now. So I'm actually going to go back and make sure that this player number one doesn't totally overshadow him. Now I go back to here. Now the key to this play is that this player is going to cut down after he moves the ball. So I'm going to have him pass the ball to number six. Hit plus, but he would be moving to the sideline and he actually has to in order to create the space for the feed that we want. And now this player is going to cut down the middle or down in the wake of the dodge, right? So this is basically how you are going to go in and create your plays 
on the computer. Now, the simplicity of it on the computer, it's pretty easy. Having a mouse and only one point of contact is kind of interesting, but the way that I really like to use it is actually on my iPad. And so, <clears throat> from the perspective of a coach, there's a bunch of ways I'm going to use this. One is, <clears throat> once I have my playbook, so I'm going to show you a different part, not the, not the iPad quite yet. Once I have the play made, I can then go back and I can play it from the beginning and you know the whole thing will animate. Now, I'm kind of a stickler for not having any of the movement icons. And so that's a really cool function that they have built in. If I go to more, I go to view options, I don't want to show any of the moves from team one or team two. And now when I hit play, the passes will be shown, but the movement arrows won't be. So now they're going to actually have to look and, and utilize it within the animation. Now, I like the animation. Other coaches don't. Other coaches just like to make sure and they like to just have the, the visuals of the lines. And so in order to see the players animate correctly, <clears throat> you have to move the, um, you have to hit play to have it animate. If you move from, what would you call it, from frame to frame, the players won't follow the lines, right? So if you look here, player one is dodging, comes down the alley. He comes kind of on this, you know, he, he changes angles. But if you click the next one, he doesn't follow the angle, but he does move, right? But so if I want him to actually stay on his arrow, I have to hit play and it'll animate it correctly, right? That's just a, just a little you know, element on, on something that's a little bit different than you might think it, it would be. <clears throat> now, but so the point of that was some coaches like to show the animation, some coaches just like to have you visualize and have the representation of the play. Now, I'm way too much of a stickler to utilize this for anything but animation because the players only have one point of turning. Now, let's say I wanted the dodge to be more rounded. All I got to do is click here, and this pop up's actually going to move to this side here. But so now it's just a rounded dodge, and when I hit play, he'll be rounded, right? But so the point is you can utilize it for animation with the lines, without the lines, basically do what, whatever you'd like. Now, what I'm going to show you now is some more of the, the drill functions. And one of the cool things is that you are going to have your own playbook. And if you become a member and you create your own team, you're going to be able to select which plays are going to move into your team's playbook. So we just created that Rutgers play here and actually let's go to the shallow cut because that's one I actually hadn't built yet and so now I'm actually going to have it. So I've got the Penn State 1-4 um, top shallow cut and now what I'm going to do is I want to share that with my team. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to click this button, I'm going to hit share the play, I'm going to come over hit team, my Powlax team is now going to have access to that play. Now, one of the things that every, that's being worked on is the ability to share complete folders because right now, once I've created this new play, you'll notice that it's not in that Penn State folder. So what I need to do is I need to come back here and I need to drag it. I need to say add to folder. And now I have all of these, um, what do you call it? I've got all these folders built with all of the different aspects of all the offenses and you know the organization of this is very important to what I do because there are so many different you know there's so many different sets different ways you can do things and this might be a lot more complicated than what you need it for but you know I'm mainly trying to show you all of the options and kind of what you can do with it but so this would go in my 1-4 wing pairs and it would be off ball and I would hit confirm and now that would be in my playbook in that set. But now in the team playbook, now I also have to move it. But so the distinction here is you're gonna have your playbook of all the things that you like, that you use, and you're also gonna have the ability to move what you want to the team playbook. Now, once you become the 
someone who has a roster full of players, you are going to have the ability to select or unselect what they see. And so once you do that, you know, you'll, so say you want to show your kids transition of, you know, maybe a fast break on week one and then a slow break on week two, you're going to be able to pick and select what they can see and then share it, kind of leak it to them over time. Um, one of the issues that I have with how it's set up right now is that you have to put each, you can't share complete folders yet, but that's a, that's something that's going to be coming here in the near future. But so now I just want to find my Penn State folder, find my off ball, boom, confirm. And now when I go to offenses, Penn State offense, one for one wing pairs, off ball, now it is the first option here. And so the ability to share it with the players is probably the coolest part. And so I can't actually show you the roster function here because I've got a bunch of people who are logged in and who are, um, you know, members and who are, who have access to the Palax digital playbook, but suffice it to say, basically what it is, is it's a list of players and the players show, it shows like their email. You can have a, a mom reference and a dad reference and, the next really cool part is the scheduling function. But so with the roster, you can see who has seen what items, right? So if you're trying to share specific things, you can see who has seen what. And so it, let's say you run a club and a bunch of different players come from all over the country or all over the area and maybe you want to run something new that you saw the night before, you can have that sent to all those players and the players will be able to see what you're talking about before they get to the field, which should help them immensely. Now, the next part is the schedule. So the schedule function allows you to create an event that will, let's say I want to create a practice. Uh, we're going to start today at six o'clock. Let's go PM. We're going to end at eight. Uh, let's say we're going to work at the Parker field house. And we're going to be on the rink. Now, the first thing is when you're building this, I like to practice plan in another way, but this is actually going to allow you to attach the plays that you want to this. And so the, the players are going to receive an email. And when they receive an email, they're going to have access to the links of these plays. And so when I hit add drill or play, let's say I want to add the, you know, let's say I want to go, we're going to go Qs. We're going to go alley throw forward. And now when I add the event, everyone's going to get an email and it's going to have that link in it. So they're going to be drawn right to the Qs motion, dodging the alley, throwing forward video. So they'll have an immediate reference to exactly what they're doing. But so the, the uses of the playbook are incredible when you think about the ability to get on the same page with a quickness. So now I want to show you two other plays and kind of how I'm going to be using the um, this playbook within this season as well as how I would expect for, for people who are on the Palax Digital Playbook to use them. So the one issue with the Palax Digital Playbook, if you become a member and you get access to that, is that you are going to be in the player function and the player role. So eventually you will be able to share the Palax plays with your team if you also have a team membership. But for now, you're the only one that's going to have access to it, but you're going to be able to utilize it on the field and show players in person. But so when I think about one of the most difficult items, difficult things to teach, it's definitely defense. And if you have some slide and recover examples, well, let's actually just go over the communication, right? So if we're in an open set, our communication is going to be a little bit different than it would be on the offensive set. But so as we are creating, as you see the defensive players, now I have roles that they can be. You can be on ball, you can be hot, you can be left, right, two, and three. And so you may have different terminology, but this will actually show that as you move and as the ball swings around the outside, hold on, let me make sure that everyone's highlighted. That was the next point we were going to go over you'll see that these players 
their roles change, what they're announcing changes, right? So once the ball's passed, he's no longer right, he's now ball. Ball's passed again, he's not right, he's now ball. And you can you can show a visual representation of these, what would you call them, these symbols changing and communicating differently. Now, another cool part of this is if you really want to focus on one specific player. So if I go to one player on the crease, let's say I really want to focus on how we want to maintain ball side leverage with our crease slide. So I'm going to select the crease player and now I'm going to hit play and now I can more easily see the player who is on the crease maintaining ball side leverage as he kind of circles the the offensive player on the crease as the ball is swinging around the outside of the field. But so let's say I want to focus on the player who is outside in my second because say I'm talking to another player who is, you know, a defenseman who won't be on the crease because we have a midfielder on the crease. So now I can select the two defensemen and I can really focus in on maintaining being a two. Now they're going to change to be a right. And then now he's on ball. Now he's left. And then now he's going to become a two again. But so the ability to focus on one specific player is another thing that really makes this a very exciting, exciting program. But so uh, that's basically it. I don't think there's much more. If you have any questions about it, definitely let me know. But uh, another key is that if you're going to go and check out Lacrosse Lab, make sure to search and go to lacrosselab.com slash Powlax. Now, the reason I say slash Powlax is because that's going to automatically put the Powlax discount code in your checkout. Uh, when you check out, it'll automatically be inserted in there. You can also use the description down in the, uh, you can use the link down in the description as well. But when you do use lacrosselab.com slash Powlax, you're going to get, I believe, 10% off your first three months when you create your own actual team. Now, I want to make sure I make the distinction right now, which is this is different than the Powlax um, digital playbook. If you want access to my digital playbook, the way that's going to work is you're going to come back over to Powlax.com, and if you're on the Become a Member page or you go to Account, when you go to Account, it should be here, Powlax Digital Playbook, or if you're on the Become a Member page, you go to the Digital Playbook, and once you come here, you're going to have the option of registering for $60 for the entire year. So basically, you will then have access to all of what I've built in my digital playbook. Um, once again, you are not going to be able to send these plays to your players. This is basically for you to explore all of the drills and all of the you know defensive looks and you know all of the um, the drills that I'm putting in over time. So now I've had this for about two weeks. I built out a small base, and as I progress through, I'm just going to keep building. And if there's anything specific, once you become a member uh, with the playbook that you would like to see built or that would help you to communicate something to your players, definitely let me know, and I can absolutely have that built. Um, so I think that wraps it up with the introduction to Lacrosse Lab. I think it's a very, very powerful platform. I think that it's definitely something that if you're looking for a way to track your player's progress, getting a team implemented it is going to be huge. Um, I, I don't even think I talked about it too much, but they also have an app that will go on your phone. And um, I'm going to use it with my iPad. Oh, that was the last part that I wanted to say. One of the things I'm going to be using is there are certain plays that are going to that we're going to utilize this spring and in the in the season that are a little bit complicated and my ability to not have to decide who's going to be in which spot because I'll already have the 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 digital representation on my iPad I'm basically going to be able to come up here and say you know let's say we're we're on a man down restart where they're going to double I'll be able to come to here, go to man down, man down, restart trick plays. I know that they're going to be clearing on the off bench side. And now I'm going to have this representation to show the players of exactly what we're doing. You know, we're going to sub out a player for the next player. Oh, oh, sorry. Here we go. I tried to hit play, but it brought up the image. Hit play. Oh. And so I'm basically going to have the ability to show them 
exactly what we're going to be doing on the field and it should help us stay on the same page i'm not going to have to worry about remembering all the elements of the play when i get out to the field but cool that about wraps it up um make sure to check out palax.com if you'd like to become a member and get all the playbook pdfs definitely do that we're going to be kicking off the coaches only q a again here soon and i think that basically wraps it up if you have any questions for me definitely make sure to put them down in the comments and hit me up on instagram um tiktok basically facebook all the social media sites uh hit the like button and subscribe have a good one and i will see you guys in the next video peace